Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you guys are doing really well. So today we'll be solving electrolyte module in Aspen Plus. So the problem statement is very simple. We have a sour water stream which is to be treated with dry steam and the water polluting components will be stripped off. So let us see how we can do it in Aspen Plus. So the problem statement is a sour water stream containing this much amount of carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide and ammonia is, is to be treated with the dry steam at 1.1 atmosphere. The flow rate of both the streams that is sour water stream and the dry steam is given. The water polluting compounds will be stripped off and the vapor will leave the top of the tower. The sweet water which will be withdrawn from the bottom of the stripper with almost nil carbon, nitrogen and sulfur content. So the dry steam will enter from the bottom and will act as a vapor stream. So there is no need for the reboiler. This means we have to take a column without a reboiler. Let us now move to the Aspen Plus environment. When you will open Aspen Plus environment, click on new. Now you have to select electrolytes and select electrolytes with metric units. Click on create. When you select electrolytes, the water is by default. Now we have to add other components. Let us add carbon dioxide. Select this, add selected compounds and you just have to click on add. The next component is ammonia. Click on this and add selected compounds. So we don't need to replace carbon dioxide. Instead we have to add. So click on add. Let's add another component which is hydrogen sulfide. Again same thing. Add. So yeah, we are done with adding components. Let's move to the next step. So these are all the parameters which we have found. So the next step is to define whether it is unsymmetric reference state of ions or the symmetric ones. So I'll tell you what is it. So for that we have to go to the components, then to the specifications. And here you can see electrolyte wizard. You have to click here. And see, this should be unsymmetric and yeah, I'll tell you what is unsymmetric and symmetric. So the for the unsymmetric reference state of ions, the equilibrium constants are calculated from the reference state Gibbs free energy of the of whatever the participating components are. The activity coefficients of ions are based on infinite dilution in pure water. So for this we have already added water and if you have to select the symmetric state this means the equilibrium constants are not e automatically calculated. You have to put in the data and in our case we will be using reference state of ions and click on next to continue. So here the only selected component is water. We have to select all these three. So click on this arrow and all the components are selected now. So the hydrogen ion type in our case will be H plus and we will include water dissociation reaction only. And again click on next. So Aspen has given us all the aqueous species whatever will be formed in the reaction and all the reactions which can occur. And the property method will be electrolyte NRTL, which is very commonly known. So moving on to the next. So what is true component approach and what is apparent component approach? I'll tell you now. The true component approach means whatever the results you will get, you will get it in the form of how much ions are present, how many molecular species are present, what are the salts that are present? The quantities of the salts, ions and the molecular species are reported in true component approach. And in apparent component approach, it is just 
reported in terms of components not in the terms of salts or ions present in the solution so we will for the time being we will select true component approach click on next and you will click yes to update all the parameters so here you can just review chemistry or review henry components yes let's see what is it basically it is all the reactions which will occur and all the equilibrium constants so yeah that's it click on finish and if you can observe that all the ions are added to the component list now we will click on next so yeah we will click on next since we have entered all the components here and there are no half filled red circles this means we are good to go to the simulation environment let us go we will select a column so we will select a column without a reboiler so this is okay and now we have to add our material streams let us rename all the streams this is sour water h2o this is sour vapor and the bottom is sweet water okay oh wait we have to add one more material stream which is steam let us let us rename this also this is steam so we are done with the small uh, flow sheet we will be using dry steam as the stripping agent in our problem today so we will enter all the parameters which are required so first we will enter all the feed stream parameters so the temperature is 85 degrees celsius pressure 1 bar and the total flow rate let us take it as 5000 kgs per hour and here we will enter the component in the mass fraction form so the water is 0.9955 the carbon dioxide is 0 0.002 very less quantities 0 0.001 for ammonia and hydrogen sulfide is 0 0.0015 okay so it comes out to be one that means it's good so we are done with our one of the feed stream properties let us go to the another one which is steam okay so the flash type we will select is pressure and here it will be vapor fraction the pressure is one 0.1 atmosphere okay and the vapor fraction will be 1 and the flow rate here we can put the flow rate as 1500 kgs per hour so as you can see that there is a blue tick here that means all the parameters which are required are fulfilled let us move to the another section of the flow sheet which is our stripper so the calculation type will be equilibrium the number of stages we can specify as 11 and we have a condenser so we need to specify what type of condenser it is we will be using partial vapor and reboiler obviously we don't have any reboiler so it's none for this and here we will specify our reflux ratio which is 10 you can see that there is a blue tick here that means from this portion we are good to go we can move to the next tab which is streams tab so here our sour water will be on the first stage and steam will enter from 11th and this will be not above stage it's actually on stage so the steam here will be on stage 11th sweet water will come out from the bottom which is in the liquid form and sour vapor will come out from the first stage which is vapor moving on to the next tab which is pressure tab 
will set our condenser pressure to one bar and the column pressure drop to 0.1 bar. So here we got a blue tick that means we can move to the next tab. So this is both reflux and liquid distillate are subcooled at 0 degree Celsius. So here we will set the subcool temperature to 0 degree Celsius which means that both the reflux and the liquid distillate exist at equilibrium saturation temperature and pressure. So this is all done. We will run our simulation. Go to reset and then run. So the results are available and as you can see uh, from the notification here. Let us see the stream summary. So yeah, as I was telling you that we will be using true component approach. So you can see that all the ions are mentioned here and the quantities are also here in the respective uh, streams. So you can see that our sweet water, the mass flow is 5995.67 kgs per hour and the sour vapor has been separated. You can observe that all the ions are in the trace quantities in our sweet water which is what we wanted to obtain. So yeah, similar thing you can do with the apparent component approach. All you need to do is just select the apparent component approach in electrolyte wizard and the only difference you will get is it won't, uh, these ions won't be present, only the components will be there. So this was it. I hope you guys find the video quite useful and if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button. Do follow our Instagram page. The link is given in the description box below. And if you have any queries, please reach out to us. We have been actively replying to all the queries which we have been receiving all this time. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.